Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 5 of Forgecraft, where I'm playing with Create. It's a fun time. Uh, so I can click that on there and push the button, <gasps> and it works. Look at it go. <laughs> cool. And I've got four golden sheets. Nice, look at that. All right, so we learned that the depot here, thanks to my stream chat, is telling me that uh, depot is a way to craft items without them actually being on belts. They can just be in the depot instead. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure the button's required on that though. So now there's two things we wanna make. We wanna make a wrench and we wanna make goggles. And apparently the goggles, can I curio them up right away or what? Goggles, because there's a curio version. Oh, that's engineer goggles. Oh, that's a Batania thing. Don't they look almost the same? And they both say engineer goggles. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, but anyway, I guess I wear this in my in my on my head. Ah, look at that. That's cool. Kinetic stats, stress impact, eight SU base value, whatever SU is, sixty at current speed. Cool. 120 at current speed. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it's a word and words are good. So, hey, that's cool. So now to make the mixer, I need five sheets. So I can do three more of these and click it onto here. And I think you need the button. Oh no, you don't need the button. Never mind, you don't need the button. Well, that's exciting. So you don't need a redstone signal. That's cool. Today we learned. Yeah, SU might be stress units. That is a good point. Cool beans. All right, so now can I make my mechanical mixer? So I need more andesite alloys. I had a few of them, didn't I? Did I use them all up already? I might have. I might have used them all up already. Got some more iron nuggets though, so that's cool. So for our mixer, we want more andesite alloys. Yeah, I guess they go a little quick. Cool. So whisk, and then mixer. Sweet. Now the mixer, we wanna mix, in order to make brass, we're going to need a blaze burner underneath the mixer. Uh, so an empty blaze burner is a couple iron plates, which is cool. Do the sing. Oh, look at that, he totally detects it. That's cool, so you don't need a redstone signal, and that is awesome to see. Cool. Okay, and then we can make some iron bars. I mean, we could if we had the inventory space. Oh, we do, yay. I'm super inventory stressed at the moment, but I'm trying not to be like, to look what I did last season thing. So I'm 100% like skipping out on things like refined storage and whatnot. But we'll get there at some point. It's like, it's not like I'm never gonna do it, right? Now, does that mean that I can also just, you know, do this? and then put the mixer there. And underneath this, we would have the blaze burner. And I'm guessing that's a basin. So what's a basin look like? Five andesite alloy, not terrible. How about while I'm down here, we will... Uh, have a crafting table for our purposes. Oh, look at that, there's a little recipe filter, neat. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, so for this, we're gonna want three copper and a zinc, but we need some kind of fuel in there, and I'm told maybe coal? Maybe coal? Am I out of coal? No, I have some of my furnaces, I'm sure. Yeah, ish. And if I know create, I would imagine that we right click you or something? So it's called, it's called Blaze Burner. 
A little home for your fiery friends. I'm sure you could put them to good use. Explain. So blaze burner. What do I need here? Do I need blaze rods? I'm thinking maybe blaze rods. All right, so our current theory is we have to capture the blaze, a blaze in the nether with a blaze burner. Now the problem is, I looked for a blaze for a long time two episodes ago and found zero of them. So uh, let me go ahead and look again. Maybe I'll get lucky. Also, this time I have some, you know, neat spells and whatnot. So maybe we'll have some luck finding a blaze. I'll come back when and if I find one. Um, yeah, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So I found a fortress, and then I mistimed my leap spell, and I totally died in a giant lake of lava. But we finally got our stuff out of it, and it was very hilarious, I'm sure, for everyone. No more leap. No more leap in the lavas. Hey, where'd my harm spell go? Take him down. So I'm told, potentially, the way to activate this this thing is to right-click it on a blaze spawner, which would be cool. Hey, look, a terrible fortress. That's me. Yeah, I totally don't have the inventory space for this stuff, but that's okay. We'll grab a few. Somebody definitely explored here already, which is cool. Oh, hello. No, oh, that's not how you kill things, that is. So all we gotta do is easy. Ah, oh, kill those things. Magic is very deadly. Which I appreciate, by the way. Appreciate how deadly magic is. Definitely appreciate the deadliness of magic. Boy, is my inventory a mess. But what else is new? That looks like a blaze spawner area. Isn't that where you normally find a blaze spawner? Right there-ish? That looks like a blaze spawner, yes. Now, let's just hope blazes don't spawn and shoot me as I'm over. Like that. Yeah, don't do that, blazes. So two things, we found a blaze spawner, yay. <gasps> that is it, you do right click it on a blaze spawner. Well that's exciting news, we know how that works now. Well we know how that works, ain't that cool. Ain't that cool. And I'm totally getting my blaze rods that I need for the tier 2 spellbook. Because that was like the main thing I needed for a spellbook, right? A few blaze rods and then we're cool. Alright, so two things now. We advanced in, in Create and we advanced in Ars. So, Ars Nouveau. How'd I do? How'd I do? Nouveau. Did I do it right? Really do love this spell book. Really do love it. Alright, is that enough blaze rods for now? I'm gonna say yes. Let's slash home. Hooray! That was an adventure. Like, you guys have no idea. If you weren't watching stream for that, then you missed out on one crazy adventure. 
All right, we'll do the we'll do the upgrading of the spell book in another episode because I am totally doing my engineer's goggles and all these things today. All right, that's a thing that's absolutely going to happen. Uh, so now I should be able to put you underground here. Aha! Look at him. There's a little blaze in there. Look at him hanging out doing some work. That is cool. So now apparently to make bronze ingots, right? From create. There we are. Brass ingots. Sorry, brass ingots. Um, we can mix one copper and one zinc. Cool. Let's see how that works out. That looks like it's in. Now, the other thing we need is for this to be rotational energy differently, right? So can I... You, you are not... Okay, I don't think... Where does this thing go in at? Does it go into the top of the mixer? Requires con constant rotational force in a basin place below with a gap in between. Huh. Um, I need a gear. Do I need a gear like, like this? I'm a little confused. There's a cog in the mixer that needs to be spun. Oh, so it does need to be like that? Okay. I see. Ish. Um, yeah, no, that's not what I said. I said I see ish. I see ish. Um, yeah, so you need... You need to be all... All kinds of... Cool, right? I'll figure this out eventually. Now, where's all my... There they are, shafts. Right? And then you need, like, rotational energy. So that needs to be the gearbox is what I want, right? Relays rotation in four directions. No, that's not what I want. I want the vertical gearbox. I think I want the vertical gearbox, right? Which is a change from the gearbox. I think. I think. So let's get a couple gearboxes and maybe a couple more cogwheels while I'm down here. That seems like a large number, which I'm happy with. Okay. Did I get the gearboxes? Or did I not get the gearboxes? Yeah, I did. I have two. Let me get, like, a couple more. A couple more gearboxes. Two big cogs can shift the rotation 90 degrees. Oh, that's cool to know. So wait, hold on. I got an idea then. If I do this... And this, and then put a cogwheel here. Oh, <gasps> look at those green particle effects happening. That's cool. But what if instead, but wait, there's more. But what if instead we did this? Okay, nobody panic, but this might work. Oh, 
I'm guessing I can I do this at a at an angle or do they have to be straight? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Yeah, no, it looks like straight is your only option. Okay. So then what we'll want. is something like this. Now, is this super ugly? Yes. Yes, well aware. But it's working. <gasps> but it's working. It appears that this is not rotating with enough speed. I can fix that. I can fix that, right? I think. I think I can fix that. I think I can fix that. Ish. It's super, it's dire geary. It's a new term that we just invented. Um, I think I can fix that. Look, it's not great, but it's not terrible. If I put a small cog wheel here, doesn't that fix that? No, no it doesn't. I am misthinking that. What we want is what we want is that, right? Isn't that faster? That's faster, isn't it? But it doesn't seem like it's faster enough. It's not quite faster enough. So then what we're going to want is another big one here, right, to a small one that's fast, right? Right? Totally need to. Didn't somebody say if I use my magnet or the wrench to break things, it'll magnet in my inventory? <gasps> yes, I think it does. Why, well, yes, I think it does. That's cool. Now, can these guys go next to each other to work, or do they always have to go diagonal? No, they can go next to each other. Overstressed. Add more sources. So do I need um like another water wheel? Would another water wheel help overstressed? Could try another water wheel. I think that means we need more torque, right? Look at me saying torque. Hey, speaking of zinc ore. Don't mind if I do. So 
So then what we're going to want is another water wheel like... Oh, he did not appreciate that. He said nope. then that looks cool and obviously we're gonna want this to be a little less dire derpy right but I mean hopefully this will suffice for a bit just to get me just to get me to understand what's necessary right like I have no idea how many upgrades of speed I need to do right like I don't know what's necessary here Nope, wrong direction. Ah, oh, what happened to you? What? What the what? I might need a second water source. That is a possibility. And then what we'll do is we'll make an infinite source over here. So now that's just me, I'm just curious. How's TPS feeling? Not bad. Yeah, when I'm the only one on the server, it's not terrible. But it's still at 30 with just me. That is terrible. Because I do not have something in my base causing 30 FPS or 30 TPS. Holy cow, it's at 57. How did that happen? I am not doing that. I mean, we might have chunk loaded chunks. That's a thing, too. But. Okay, cool, but you still decided to break the wheel. Why are you breaking the wheel, buddy? Why are you breaking the wheel? That part I don't understand. You don't seem to like that, do you? Do you? Hmm. Think it's still not enough? I think I need another water wheel? Sure. But I feel like maybe I want stuff here. Hey, that feels pretty good. Look at that. Okay. <gasps> Look, it's working. It's working. The mixer's working. Look, it's working! That is cool! Look at it go! How do I know what it's done? It's a Morby! Does that mean it's done? I have no idea. I got pile of copper. <laughs> that is not what I intended. <laughs> that is not what I intended at all. And zinc nuggets. Okay, yeah, no, that's not right. But I think I have to hit this with a wrench, right? Didn't it say something about that on the tooltip here? Mechanical mixer. Um, when used with wrench, configures the minimum amount of total ingredients for applied recipes. Use this option to rule out unwanted recipes with similar but less ingredients. That sounds cool, right? So do I right-click or left-click you? Well, that's not the button to click. We know that much. We know it's not that. I need a chest for down here is what I really need. And I need to clean up my inventory. Okay, so you go back to this. And that's a 
cool blue particle effect, by the way. Um, so we definitely did something wrong. So that is not the correct thing to do when used with a wrench. What do you think it means by when used with a wrench? Configures the minimum amount of total ingredients for applied recipes. Use this option to roll out unwanted recipes. Now, I don't think I have to millstone it first because it shows this as a recipe in the mixer. So see the zinc ingot and copper ingot is two brass ingot, as long as it's heated, which it is. So it's good. We just need to figure out how to make it so that this thing knows to only craft two things. Now I could do a recipe filter here, but that's not right because we would need the brass ingot first, right? It's not giving me any feedback. Yeah, wrenching the basin doesn't seem to be the right course of action because that just you know, that doesn't seem to work. Well, guys, I learned by right-clicking this dude with coal, he lights up a lot. So maybe he wasn't activated before? But still, I want to make sure that this thing is working right. So here's the thing I'm going to try. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light up my blaze. So see how sad he looks? But if you feed him coal, he gets happy. And then I'm going to put my copper and zinc in. And then while he's definitely happy and has both ingredients in already, then I'm going to attach to the gearbox. And hopefully, hopefully he makes me some brass. Please make brass. Brass, please. And I think that might have done it. Now, I think that might have done it. <gasps> brass ingots. Yes. And now I can do a recipe filter with the brass ingot. And that is cool. Okie dokie then, Smokey. That is what's up. That is what's up. So now um, I can come over here and I can drop the copper in. I can drop the copper in. And it's not going to do anything because I've got the brass filter. That'll do it. That'll do it. That's a way to do it. There you go. There you go. So that gets me the brass that I need. Sweet. Boop, boop. As long as he's hot. He looks like he's cooling down. He definitely does, right? He needs some more coal soon. Poor little guy. Needs to be fed. He gets hungry. He gets hungry. Just like me. That's cool. Yeah. Is it dire wiry? Yes. Is it awesome? Also yes. <laughs> Look how much of a mess it is. <laughs> it's such a mess. It's such a mess. But it works. But it works. Oh, poor guy. He's Now he's really hungry. So now my suspicion is that this won't work, right? So I'll do copper and zinc this time. Is it easier to drop from this angle? It really is. So see how nothing's happening? Because he's not gonna convert the copper into nuggets because he has a filter, but he's also not gonna convert it into brass because our little guy under there is still hungry. So let's feed him. Yoink, there you go. I've seen like one tenth of this mod, probably less, and I'm already like, yes, I want all of it. It's so cool. It's so cool. Now here's a question, can I do two and two at a time because that would be awesome right it does look like you can it might be taking longer but it does look like you can yes and i got four nuggets for that so that is cool awesome all right guys so i'm gonna call that a good wrapping up point for episode five so we've got brass now right so we've got brass covered so we did the mixer 
Uh, I didn't do the fan thing yet, but we totally got the burner thing. We got the wrench and the goggles. We got the basin. Uh, I've got glass. Gearboxes I'm cool on. Uh, crushing wheel is next. So that's going to require uh, the mechanical crafters. That's the part where we need the rose quartz and the brass casings. But now that we have brass, we can get brass casings, right? So I should be able to do that. And this guy's going to be all, hey, I've got work to do. Let me go do it. Cool. There's your brass casings. And now I should have no problem getting uh, this thing made. Just needs a little bit more wood, please. Brass casings. Uh, except I needed a full plank for that bit. That's all right. We'll get it between episodes. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to play more with Create because it's kind of amazing. I mean, a little bit kind of amazing. I really do. I really am, in case you haven't been able to tell, loving this mod. I love the non-magic block mechanic of it. Like, so many mods are just like, place this block down and get ores, right? Um, you know, create is very much like, combine these six blocks together and now you can ore double, right? Like, that is cool, guys. That is super cool. So, I, I really appreciate that, right? But... All good things must come to an end, including this episode. So for now, Dell Toy Sound Off, hope you enjoyed the episode, and take it easy.